Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about Software Schematic Manager of PSC Advanced 300 with WinCC Flexible 2008. How to create the function that we call FC, yes. Here is the sample block that I already created for a simulation with PLC S Van 300 and uh, the first page or screen that created by uh, WinCC Flexible 2008. To create the FC, first we need to create the hardware configuration and then we uh, will create the FC function and then we will uh, create the screen by using WinCC Flexible 2008 okay so let's go to our software to uh, create it step by step yes let's go so first we need to have uh, two software The first one is Schematic Manager and the second one is VCC Placeable. Right now I use uh, Schematic Manager version 5.6 and VCC Placeable 2008 CV page 5. Okay. So uh, first open VCC, sorry, uh, Schematic Manager. And then create a new project, yes. And create the folder. Example uh, FC, yes. FC two tutorial and browse to find the folder that we already created on desktop yes fc and then click ok so first we need to create the hardware configuration so create the schematic station 300 example uh, plc1 double click and double click on hardware and then choose the schematic 300 and then go to the rack and create the rail yes totally it has uh, 12 slots for uh, this rack and then I will create a PS example uh, power supply and uh, CPU right right now I use CPU uh, 3.4 C 2 pn slash DP yes version 3.3 drag and drop yes and click uh, OK and this is the IP address of this PLC and here is the subnet max So click OK. Yes. So let's see here. The output is start from Q31, sorry, 136, and input also start from uh, 136 also. Yes. There are 24 inputs and uh, 16 outputs. Yes, and for analog and counter and uh, position control, we uh, not yet uh, use, so we use only uh, output and input. Okay, so uh, we will download to a uh, simulation. To download to a uh, simulation, please click uh, simulation. 
yes and then click run and go to our hardware configuration and click uh, download yes start the CPU yes we start the CPU okay so uh, right now we are the uh, download hardware configuration to uh, simulation tool yes PLC sim and then we need to create the block right so right click and uh, go to insert new object and create the function right FC example uh, um, motor control yes FC name is uh, motor control and I will choose the letter language actually we can use uh, structure text language letter language and uh, function block language so right now I will use letter language and then go to uh, FC1 and double click on FC1 so we need to declare the inputs and output right so example input I have a uh, start stop overload yes and it is the boolean example uh, command start command stop motor overload yes and for in output I have uh, only one example for uh, two or we can write right yes it is common start output yes so after we uh, create variables we can uh, go to the logic and then create the logic stop start and coin and also hold the signal for drive right so this is a stop start yes and here is dry right so it's very simple for uh, create the FC yes function so uh, that's all so if motor overload I will use NC for cut the circuit right so overload okay so save our program and we can write command a little bit uh, control function for control the motor yes so save again and then go to uh, op1 yes and I choose the letter also for OB1. Example uh, motor 1, control motor 1 using FC. Function yes so to use the FC that we uh, already created let's go to uh, this tab FC block yes we will saw the FC one that we already created in the block yes so drag and drop here and then we can use example M 0.0, .0 
m 0.1 for stock and example i uh, start from i 136.0 right have a configuration here yes start from i uh, 136.0 yes and for output is uh, q136.0 also yes so this this is the fc that we already uh, created and then uh, we call it to use so save and then go here and then uh, select all and then uh, download Again, yes. The CPU will restart for uh, simulation, yes. And then uh, go to OP1 and open the online, yes, online. So actually, we can uh, use like this for test. Go here, and then uh, this one is MB, right? So MB0. So if uh, I would like to start, I just press M0.0, right? So M0.0 on, let's see the status. So uh, Q, QB1, uh, 136, right? Sorry. So here is on also, and then let stop yeah it will stop run and if motor overload it will stop also yes uh i right this one so we need to create the touch screen or hmi for uh, control this motor right yes so uh, let's go to uh, our software WinCC flexible to create the screen for uh, control the FC. Okay. So open WinCC flexible. Right now I use a uh, 2008 ZB file. Yes. And create the int project. And go to uh, panel. Right now I will use uh, TP. 170B 6 in color, yes, because it uh, match with the hardware of my touch panel. So, first we need to create the connection. So, double click on the connection and then uh, write the name here, example HMI1, and this is a driver connection that we want to connect right now i will connect to uh, schematic as when to 300 yes and then i will choose the ethernet yeah and here is the ip address of computer example 192 .168 .0 .2 .0 .2 253 yes and here is the IP address of PLC so 192.168.0.1 right check here IP address of uh, PLC yes go to communication yes Ethernet, right? Because uh, we already uh, created for uh, Ethernet, yes, for the CPU. Okay. So one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one, yes. 
and then uh, we will create the text right the next step we will create the text so uh, for text that we will create here first one is m1 example m1 start right it is the boolean and start from m0.0 .0, right so choose m0.0 .0. yes m1 stuff m0.1 m1 overload i right 136.0 right and uh, we also have the dry right M1 dry so uh, Q 136.0 yes and we need to create the command example start for motor M1 for motor one motor one overload right and uh, motor one dry okay and then we will uh, create the screen right for control so I need uh, two buttons first one is start button right so start maybe adjust the phone yes a little bit to be uh, 18 yes and color we need to change to be uh, red color yes. so I will copy one more for uh, stop right so this one is stuff and should be a red color yes and uh, we need one motor right so go to graphic and then go here go to the runtime color symbol factory graphic and then go to here and then choose the motor or uh, fan that we want so example i use motors yes i will choose one more motor yes example uh, this motor yes drag and drop so uh, this is a motor one right so create the text motor one and I will adjust the font a little bit to be a 20 yes and change color to be a blue property change to blue yes and also adjust to be center yes and I will use the writing goal for show the status of motor run or stop yes so I will choose red color yes like this and then go to here for button start go to event and then freeze so uh, when freeze it will set 
y z bit z bit m1 start right and when release I will reset bit reset bit m1 yes sorry m1 start also and for stop I will choose the freeze also so uh, set bit m1 stop and go to release reset bit m1 stop also yes and for the condition yeah I will use the animation and go to the text yeah so m1 dry and then choose the bit and if the condition if one or condition is true I will uh, change the color to green color yes and save the project of WinCC and go to the desktop right so FC HMI example okay so uh, simulation okay so uh, we can online and uh, start and stop example I press start the motor is uh, run yes when I press stop the motor is stop yes if we press start let's see m0.0 .0 is turned on yes stop m0.1 uh, is turned on and then motor is stop okay so here is the basic of uh, how to create the FC function yes for control the motor on uh, step 7 schematic manager and uh, WinCC flexible so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please drop comment under my video I will reply soon and it's just example yes and I'm also sorry if I have mistake in this video because my English is not so good so in this time I would like to say thank you very much again and uh, don't forget like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step so in this time I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye